Hey guys, I'm back. I actually just stood up for a second and turned you back on, but you don't know that because this will be a complete difference um, video. Stephanie Ani Artist here in Concord, California, hanging out, making herself absolutely insane today. Looking at solutions, trying to think of solutions. Okay, now, first off, I'm gonna move this stuff and cover these three. I'm sure that's not gonna be the most super thrilling, exciting thing you've ever seen, but if you've been with me every other step and you know that there is the gear button at the bottom and if you wanna fast forward through it, you sure is. You sure can. I am not forcing you to sit here and watch all of this. By golly, it drives me a little crazy. I'm sure it probably drives you a little crazy too. Oh, I like that little jaggedy. Mmm, nice. Okay, so I think, I think that it will be important to preserve the folds. That is something I am concerned about. Now I want to cover them. I need to cover, you know, these little tabs and these feet to make them all blend in as much as possible. But I do not want to cover up that fold. Where does it matter? I think it would matter. Maybe it wouldn't. But really, why risk it? Okay, so look, at, I just pushed that down. It gave me an imprint. Mm, it gave me an imprint there. Love it. My fingernail. Now, I still want it to look a little raggedy, so even though I'm not going on that, I can easily go up to it, right? Well, this just is never going to be long enough there. Trying to decide which glue to use, honestly. The Fabri-Tac uh, works excellent, but it's a little bit harder to spread it out all over the place. It gets more in just uh, certain areas. Do I need to do the inside? I don't think I'm going to worry about doing the damn inside, honestly. It's red. I think it blends enough. Right, guys? 
I mean, I, I understand being picky, but at some point it's going to be like... <sighs> I'm worried about the bulk, though, if I add it on there. Truly, that's a big, big, big concern. I don't like cut edges. You know I don't like cut edges. If I don't have to. Put a super short trim in there. Fringes and edges and angles. That's how we. That's how we roll. That's how we roll, don't we, people? Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Fringes and edges and angles. Oh my. Fringes and edges and angles. Oh my. Can you tell I'm getting tired? <laughs> okay. All right. So we're gonna have to cover this with some Mod Podge. When that happens, it's going to change the consistency of what we have on top of here, right? There it goes. Because the medium that we used was water soluble. Mod Podge is adding paint to the situation or liquid to the situation. I like what's happening. I, I, I do like what's going on. Um, I'm doing this for extra protection. Um, we do not want you to stick down here though, buddy. We want you to fringe out. Uh-huh. Just like that. Okay. It really is giving it a really pretty golden glow. I'm just hoping it's going to match the rest of the pages. Uh, if it doesn't, of course, you know, we've got all of our tricks. You know, we can always paint over it. All right. Beautiful color. Really a beautiful uh, honey color. Okay. I'm going to pull in the next one. Raggedy. I want raggedy, raggedy, raggedy. Okay. Nice sharp edge, so we'll do one edge sharp. One edge. No! Dang it. Don't you hate it when your tear is off by just... just it doesn't really matter, I guess. I don't want that extra bulk right there in that seam. See?
Oops. Oh, I, or I was asked how I got to California, and I was going to tell that story, and I will. It was a really long story. Mm, it's not a particularly easy one or happy one. Tragedy had to happen before I got here, that's for sure. Well, that, well, that seam right there. That's cool. Okay, let's do another one little single touch here.
how he changes the color of the paper. I'll do it this way. All right. So, I don't have anything right up there in that corner. I think it's okay. I probably won't be able to handle it. But, of course, it'll have um, gold and stays on and all sorts of wonderful things on it. Okay, going back to the first one. Being super careful. Making sure it's dry before you do this, okay? Or you will tear everything. You will be sad. Guarantee it. I'm using the cardstock as a cutter, basically. It's tearing it from that space. I like that I chose red underneath of here because then I can, you know, I have a little bit of leeway. Right? These, these, these angles have to match. I just remembered that. They don't necessarily have to match with the rest of them, although that's of course going to be best, but they have to match with each other. Often what I'm looking for is back of the leaves. I think it's the fringe, huh? Fringe though. Okay, so we want to check all of our edges. We want to leave them ragged. We do want to leave those ragged. Absolutely do. Now we're going to want these to blend in as much as possible. What's on this table that keeps making that noise? Oh, don't do it that way. Do it this way. Hold down tight. This probably should have dried a little bit more. She says as she keeps going. Just pour it down, just pour it down, pour it down. There we go. Okay, knees go out straight. There we go. Shoulders back. Actually kind of like the thought of leaving those uh, extra jaggedy there, right? Makes kind of sense, doesn't it? Those are going at about the same angle. This is still nice and tight. 
Oh, don't stick. Accentuate these guys. We'll come back in with our um, brushed corduroy here. Uh, uh, I chose brushed corduroy out of everything else here because it's the it's a lighter color. And again, I want to try to keep this in the forefront. Uh, it, it's just a minor difference. in coloring, but I think it'll help the overall. Where's my other one? And I'll still go over with my brown stays on, most likely. I just wanted, most likely, not guaranteed. This brush corduroy actually has a good tea stain look to it, truly. We are just going to roll that up a little bit and just accentuate that that's right there. That's so ugly on that side. I don't know if anybody will ever see it, but you know me. I. Let it dry enough, it just comes off just so much easier. You know, they have those daubers to go with these things, but I've, I've never used them. Crazy, I know. Coloring's almost perfect, isn't it? Okay, 
Okay, so if I take it right up to that line, and then we gotta do it there. We gotta do it in the center. It looks like it's gonna make it. There's a white edge there. No white edges! I'm just going to tape it down, or glue it down. E6000. And Fab Attack. Let's go with this guy. Now remember, hold on. I want this to have as strong of a connection as I possibly can. Of course I do. I always like it when I take alcohol over things. There's something about it that just makes it look extra special to me. Okay. How much how much pop-up do I want there to be? Do I want that much pop-up? Can you see that? I think that's a pretty good amount of pop-up right there, huh? I think I like that. Do you like that? Hmm? Faye, I can't hear what you're screaming at me. <laughs> Hold on. Make sure your edging is done properly. Highlight where you want it highlighted. I don't know if you guys can see what's going on here. Okay, so one thing I do know, me, I will be happiest if I have those tabs at the same place on each page and uh, or close to it because I'm going to want to have the same amount of pop-up for both of them. So if I bring this guy down here, looks like the two and a half mark, two inch. Two and a quarter. Two and a half, I think, is too big. That gives us a whole lot of pop up, though. Is that too much?
Why would you bother with doing that? Well, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you do that? Okay, this one hasn't been folded properly yet. Hopefully these are properly folded. Hopefully, hopefully, they're all similar. One that's being a little obnoxious there, but I think it's all right still. Still within the realm of acceptable. All right, so I'm going to take the these to the edge here. These little marks, if I don't cover them up, they will come off with alcohol. Now, can I leave it up that high? Yes. I hope that center one's going to work. I'm a little worried about that. I'm a lot worried about it. Oh, yeah, let's go ahead and do those too. How did I edge this one with the dark? This one I did. I don't think I did the other ones. I really didn't want to get the tag itself. I want that to blend in more, but see that was our spot that we had that little red. Nobody will ever notice that now. This edge here is not very dark. What do we got popping up here? Oh, you. Poopy thing, you. We've got to fix that before we can put these on. So the glue pulled up whatever glue I used underneath of there. Oh, especially on that gaffer's tape. We stuck. Shoulders back, neck straight. Come on up, buddy. I know it's hard. I know. I know you're sad. What tape, what, what glue did I use? I think I used the tacky glue on these originally, didn't I? This scares me. Clean it up while you can. You're never going to have that good of a shot at that junction again. 
speaking of that, most likely a really good idea to check all of these others. Keep that one. This is not the part where I did the fabric tack. This is the part that I did the tacky glue on the gaffer's tape. Okay. So you can see, actually, we can pull it all the way to that. This puppy is just trying to be a beast. There is nothing else to say about this. This is just now just trying to be as difficult as it possibly can be. I, who would have thought that this would be happening? I, I would have had no clue. Okay, let's see if we can get this massaged down here, squeezed together. Makes me worry about all these other seams. Well, there's two, three that are bad. Do we have anything else we need to address while we're here? Wow, the slightest tug and it pops right off. Here. So don't use tacky or Mod Podge with the gaffer's tape. Take the time and clean the goobers. Nobody would notice, but I would notice. Is it a pain? Yeah, absolutely. Does it look like hell to have those stringy things there? Yeah, it does. Boogers. Okay, so we already did the other side of this guy.
it's possible what's happening is it's getting melted in there a little bit. The glue probably reacts with that tape, with that stickiness of that tape. And uh, just like alcohol would if it was put down into there. Okay, it's pretty good now. Feels good there. I'm gonna put a little extra right down in there because we're doing repairs. So we might as well make sure everything's fixed. Okay, I think we're better. It's always gotta be something. Okay. Where was I? Now, back to our regularly scheduled program. <laughs> really? Really? You're gonna have the whole whole thing just come apart right before I add on. At least I did it before I added these on. Not after. That would have really stunk. Okay. Uh, two. It's done. White edges. We don't run out of videotape. We're getting our videotape space. Like I know we got to be getting close to the limit. Okay, I am tempted to put a little bit of gold on there. It's easier to do it now than it is later. And let's see what happens. I got a little bit heavy right there. All right, looks good. To touch. I don't want it super heavy, but we don't want it to not have it too. A little bit in there in the centers. Still see my marks on here. And I'll probably take a little bit of the alcohol over the top of these too. And um, you know, make those colors blend. Just is gonna take some work on the coloration. Uh, yeah, it makes sense if I would do it this way. Instead of doing it randomly at a place, I have no idea where it's at. Okay, baby. Be good to mama. Come on. Please. Please work. Please work. Please work. You can bring it down just a half an inch. Mm, not even that quarter of an inch. Okay, so we've got that even to there and that even to there. 
right, sitting right on that quarter mark. Nice little point in there. And you put in most of it as much as I can. Got a lot of glue under there. It's good and bad. And it's bad because it's kind of sticking all over. Good because it's kind of sticking all over. So what do we got there? We got some sort of goober going into that. Where's my goobers? My goobers. Okay, goobers, come on, come on. Please let it work. <laughs> oh i did it guys i pushed something in there and it was still sticky i just you know, made it stick to itself Where, where's the stickiness at oh my god oh my god i did it okay we're gonna let that dry let's go on to the next one over here in the center also. No. We don't want to take off our marker. I'm going to show you how we're going to match all this stuff up here. See all that? A little bit of that. And it takes off a lot of ink in the pen. A lot of everything there. Pull off some of that bronzing right there. Some. I like some of it for sure. I just needed to calm a little bit of that bronze down actually in here too. see where that's at. I didn't like what was going on there and actually even right there. Looks like just kind of a little bit too dirty. We're going to take that back a little bit. That we won't see. But I know it's there. Yeah, sometimes that gold does get kind of... Uh, but that's also where I think where that glue was having issues. That's what it was. That was the glue part. Oh, my neck's killing me. I'm going to go have to lay upside down for a while and try to stretch out my neck. Okay. Oh, look, we got it back to the white. Which I don't mind that. It does allow it to be seen as what it is. And I think that's kind of cool when people come by and like, what is that? And all of a sudden they're like, oh. Well, that's a paper bag from the dollar store. I still like this amber color a lot. 
Uh, this just needs a little bit more of that coloring. I'm not going to worry about coloring right now because that will that will happen automatically. That's for the next stage, right? Right, my darlings? <laughs> Okay, make sure that this is lined up and parallel for that. It's the only suggestion I really have, other than, you know, what we've already talked about. Now I'm also trying to compare those lines of that fold to see if it's right. <laughs> God, I want a cookie. I haven't had any sugar today at all. Maybe that's why I feel this way. Why does this seem smaller? These were all the same size. Right? This one doesn't have a mark for some reason. Or I can't find the mark. Two and a quarter. Uh, it was right there, wasn't it? Or I probably got taken off. It's seeming really big, though. I'll just go down from there. Make sure nothing else, just make sure that that's lined up there. Okay, I'm gonna adjust this guy just a little bit here. Trying to think about my angles, trying to make sure that they're all the same. Yeah, this guy's still moving here a little bit. This guy's totally stuck. I need to stand up and see how my angles are doing. Do I have any lights on? It's losing the sunlight. Where's the line at? There's a line for that guy right there. Yeah, where's the line? Oh, I didn't. I did. 
That'll come up later. I'm not really worried about it right at this second. Too much. No goobers. No goobers. You don't want that stuff to stick on there like that. Are you still videoing? Oh, you are. Good. There it is. The pop-up push-up combo. Let's see if it closes, huh? <laughs> close it doesn't close that's what the issue was before <laughs> son of a bitch it doesn't close but Oh, it was so pretty. I forgot about that, though, guys. I did. I forgot about that. Um, the middle fold concept there. Uh, so I was originally thinking about putting some sort of banner up here. And there are a, there is another fold that I came across that I might be able to try. Um, but yeah, it has to happen from... In there. What if I made a little slot and when it opens up, have that little slot that says insert here or pin here? button snap. I could make it snap. I could put a snap on there. A little note that says snap here. So if you take that down first, that will fold, and that will fold. You're just going to have to manually have it be an interactive book, which it already is. A snap, a Velcro, a clip, pin. So yeah, not going to work the way it is, that's for sure. I'll figure that out. There's there's solutions to that. It, it'll be okay. But I'm gonna really regret now not having anything on the back of that because that's not acceptable. But yes, just have it to where it goes there. I'll just say snap me. Okay, I, I, I have to be done with this for now, but I think I, um, you know, I still want to get uh, some decorations on there, some uh, poster frames to figure this situation out. Uh, I've got to make sure that that doesn't stick down for now until that glue dries. Uh, good. 
yeah, I mean, if I do that, and then this guy goes here, this guy goes there, this guy goes there, this guy goes there, this guy goes here, this guy has got to go there, this guy's got to go there, and this guy's got to go there. put a one snap here two put up that side put up that side three four and five maybe I'll make a little instruction list right here the greatest the greatest show on earth right <laughs> I kind of like that coming down here a little bit more. Still would like to see if I can make the banner. Or I, I'm going to still do more research and see what I can come up with. Um, you know, it's just uh, any anything that's going to go into this crevice. It, it can't. It can't go into that crevice. Because it this has to be all the way opened. But I did it. This is this is minor. This I can fix. This I can deal with. Like I said, I think a snap would be super cool right there. Old fashioned snap of some sort or, or something. Something that's easy to get on and off, but yet stable. Right there. All right, guys. Thanks so much for going on this journey with me. The book is going to have to be set aside for a while. Um, I have other things that I have to do. I have definitely taken my whole weekend to work on this, um, which I should not have done. I love those kids on there. <laughs> I hope you guys can see this well. Snap, and then I'll put I'll, like the pointy finger hand. You know that, that one that Tim Holtz has a lot of times? That'll go there. It'll say snap and unsnap, please, or something in old fashioned writing. And um, in here, maybe I'll just put, maybe I'll just put the pointy hands all over the place. Thank you so much for taking this journey with me and helping me figure things out. I really do appreciate it. And Thank you so much for your comments and liking and subscribing and sharing and um, it's super exciting. Uh, you know, I'll have to figure out again here the same, probably figure out the same situation for these guys so that they stick down so they're not kind of flapping about. Little pull tab, I'll definitely paint the back of that, do something with that. Chat soon. Bye.